So, ladies and gentlemen, besides the uh, presentations here on stage, we're also hosting uh, other yes. formats, um, panel discussions, for example, and also other special events, just like the next one for which I'd like to invite you all to come a bit closer because we're going to be talking about the Smart Industry Readiness Index. And this is something that was launched in November 2017 um, by the Singapore Smart uh, Industry Readiness Index, uh, which is the world's first industry 4.0 tool that was developed by the Economic Development Board in Singapore to catalyze the transformation of industrial sectors during this fourth industrial revolution. And a reference from the RAMI framework and validated by an advisory panel of academic and industry experts, the index serves as a diagnostic tool that companies from all industries and all sizes can use to actually uh, evaluate the state of their facilities and architect a comprehensive transformation roadmap to deliver uh, sustained value for their business. And that is what we're going to be doing here on stage in just a couple of moments. And uh, just looking out into the audience, uh, I see we still have a few seats free up uh, in the middle, uh, not necessarily the first row. Um, and we're still waiting for our guests here to arrive uh, down the aisle. But uh, in the meantime, once again, uh, take your chance also to check out the Siemens.com webpage online where all the events you see here on stage will be streamed live. We're really talking about everything from the first presentation in the morning to the last evening and that from Monday to Friday. I don't know if you've been to the Hanover Messe here before, um, but let me tell you, here at Siemens, uh, we basically cover everything um, from process automation, uh, e-mobility, energy and supply, uh, MindSphere, which is uh, what we just experienced here on stage with some of our partners. And um, all of this is uh, something we'd like to invite you to just you know, visit when you have the time. But right now, once again, we're just waiting uh, for our next guest here to arrive. And uh, excuse me? They're shaking hands. Yeah, they're on their way. They're shaking hands. And as soon as I see them, we're going to invite them right over to the stage. Once again, it's all about the Smart Industry Readiness Index. And um, this is something uh, you don't want to miss. So um, I don't know. We, we have guests here from um, all around the world, of course. Um, I don't know where you are from, but uh, it doesn't matter where you're from. You're basically all probably also into Anybody want a coffee, for example? You like coffee? Can we get you maybe? A coffee or a water while you wait. Huh? If you want a coffee, just raise your hand. We'll get you some. Um, and besides that, we do have our guests here now. So ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome our guest of honor, Dr. Ko Pu Kun, Senior Minister of State of the Ministry of Trade and Industry of Singapore. Welcome uh, to us. Uh, great to have you with us. And he is also accompanied by Klaus Helmrich, of course. Um, and um, hello. And I think uh, we also have some other delegates here. I don't know, is uh, Mr. Keza also joining us here today? Dr. Ko, it's great to have you with us. It's a pleasure uh, having you here for this special event. And um, now, usually we would have Mr. Keza on stage to kickstart the event. Is he also joining us? Yes, he's on his way. All right, he's on his way. So first of all, once again, great to have you with us. I hope these seats are comfortable. And um, I've been telling the people a bit about uh, the uh, Smart uh, Readiness Index, and uh, we'll be inviting everybody on stage, but we do need to wait for Mr. Keza for the opening words. So while we do wait, just uh, sit back and relax, uh, and uh, we'll get right to you as soon as Mr. Keza joins us. Maybe we can have a sign as soon as you see him in the aisles, uh, just so we know where we are here time-wise. So I hope you had a good arrival, Dr. Cole. I didn't mean to interrupt, but it uh, looks like he's in deep discussions with Mr. Helmich right now, which I do not want to interrupt, of course. So while we wait, once again, just gather around. If you can still find a free seat, please take it. Otherwise, uh, we still have some tables with some spaces uh, where you can make yourself comfortable. And uh, once again, as soon as you see Mr. Keza, we're going to get him on stage so we can start it off. Maybe we Please. talk about the Chancellor's visit. Um, we are very proud that uh, Chancellor Angela Merkel visited us and the Swedish Prime Ministers. Earlier today, definitely. Birchen. So it was a special, a special moment when uh, Angela comes to the stand. Uh, basically every year, it's a very important part of her agenda. Exactly. I mean, we are the largest fair booth at the fair. Right. 
4,000 square meters, by the way. And lots of highlights from different verticals. And I also heard uh, Mr. Keza tell us we have over 1,000 used cases uh, on display here this year, which really covers everything. Like I said before, um, all aspects, all industry services that Siemens offers uh, together with its partners. So uh, there's really something for everybody. How is it for you, though? I mean, you've seen her a couple times now also. I'm always happy when I see Angela. Well, we, we have a claim at Siemens, and it says, proud to be Siemens. Right. And whenever we come to Hanover Fair, for us, this is like the real example of how to be proud for being Siemens because this is a super fair booth. What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? You're enjoying your time here? Yeah, yeah. you're having fun? Yeah, you already <laughs> saw some of our highlights? Saw the super examples and, and the use cases? And I just saw our host now, who I'd like to get on stage exactly. directly with a big a round big of applause. A big round of applause, please, to our CEO of Siemens, Joe Kayser. Nice to have you. Hi again. So, welcome. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Um, hello again for some of you who have already been joining us this morning. Um, hello for the ones who have just um, been here for the event. I'm very glad that we have our Singaporean delegation here today and talk about the digital readiness of a country, which is a state and a city which is a very, very unique opportunity to bring the most modern, the most sophisticated, you know, and the best solutions to that country. And uh, needless to say that Singapore, for us, has always been on the forefront of innovation, of great ideas, great visions, and obviously Siemens is uh, proud and ready to participate. Very glad that we had very renowned partners uh, with Tuf Seed, McKinsey, and others to help us uh, develop that. Uh, I hope you have, the have had the opportunity to walk around, look around what Siemens has to offer from the area of um, energy all the way to industrialization, 3D printing, applications. And uh, so I hope you as, you're as thrilled as I am when uh, you w went through what we have to offer here because this is about application this is about digitalization network, and that's how it should be. So thank you very much. Welcome, Senior Minister of State. Thank you, everyone who's been coming here. And I'll take it from here, please. All right. So thank you very much, Mr. Keza, for these opening words. If I may ask you to take your seat uh, just uh, for another moment, because we, before we get our guests of honor on stage, Dr. Cole, we have a short video that we've prepared for you, which we would like to play now. So let's play the film. Here we go. Manufacturing is in the midst of its next revolution. Industry 4.0, the convergence of the digital and physical worlds, is upon us. To help companies start, scale, and sustain their Industry 4.0 initiatives, we launched the Smart Industry Readiness Index in 2017. Across the 16 dimensions of the index, companies are able to use the assessment matrix to evaluate their facilities. In recent years, the understanding of Industry 4.0 amongst manufacturers has grown rapidly, but the pace of adoption is lagging. To boost adoption, company must first prioritize industry 4.0 areas to focus on. Therefore, we have established four key principles of prioritization. Today's state, understanding the current state of your manufacturing facility. Impact to bottom line, focusing on areas with the greatest impact on your profits. Essential business objectives, identifying areas best positioned to bring success to your strategic goals. References to the broader community. Gleaning insights from the best in class. The tier framework helps to ensure that all critical considerations are assessed, guiding companies to target high impact areas. To translate it into practice, we have developed the Prioritization Matrix, a management planning tool that identifies the highest impact index dimensions. Our research shows that those who succeed holistically tackle business processes, technology architecture and organization challenges. With this logic, the Prioritization Matrix helps companies understand where to further diagnose, design and ultimately implement Industry 4.0 at scale. The Prioritization Matrix requires three key inputs. First, the assessment matrix score. This helps the tool understand the current state of the facility. Second, the facility's revenue cost profile. This allows the tool to factor in the bottom line impact. 
and third, the company's key performance indicators to align with their strategic directions. The algorithm references hundreds of case studies to prioritize industry 4.0 focus areas. Manufacturers can also identify relevant digital levers to implement in their facility. As a medium-sized enterprise with limited resources, it is especially important that we invest our time and effort in the right areas. For a company like Infineo that has embarked on Industry 4.0 plans, the prioritization matrix serves as a useful tool to help us review whether our ongoing effort are in the right direction. The digitalization of manufacturing presents many exciting growth opportunities for both companies and employees. The Singapore government is keen to partner organizations big and small to benefit from what Industry 4.0 can offer. This is why we have come up with a comprehensive framework to help companies and support them in their transformation journey. We are confident that the prioritization matrix will be a valuable tool to assist manufacturers in Singapore and around the world to not only accelerate the implementation of their Industry 4.0 roadmap, but also to extract the maximum value as they embark on this exciting journey. That is indeed an exciting journey. Fantastic video. Thank you very much. And now let's welcome him on stage, ladies and gentlemen, Senior Minister of State, Dr. Ko. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mr. Joe Kayser, CEO of Siemens. Mr. Klaus Heimrich, member of the managing board for Siemens. Distinguished partners from McKinsey and Company, SAP. Two suit, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Very good afternoon. It gives me great pleasure to join you this afternoon for the launch of the Smart Industry Readiness Index Prioritization Matrix. This is my first time visiting Hanover Messe, and I must say that the scale, the stature, and the sure vibrancy of the world's largest industrial fair here have truly been overwhelmingly impressive. Now, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Siemens for allowing us and graciously hosting us at this launch event at your booth itself. Now, while the term Industry 4.0 was first introduced at this very event here in 2011, and we realized on the ground very few companies had a good understanding of what exactly it means and the value that it could bring to the manufacturing sector. This is why in 2017, the Singapore government launched a Smart Industry Readiness Index or Siri for short, to provide a common framework for all companies embarking on this journey to learn about the key concepts of Industry 4.0. Siri has also an accompanying assessment matrix for companies to evaluate their Industry 4.0 readiness across 16 different dimensions, as you saw earlier on the video. The aim was to help companies kickstart their Industry 4.0 transformation journey. And since its launch, Siri has received a lot of interest from the international community. We have partnered organizations like the Asian Productivity Organization and the World Economic Forum to apply Siri, not just in Singapore, but also in many other parts of the world as well. Most recently, we are working with MXD, the Digital Manufacturing Institute based in Chicago, to begin utilizing Siri in the United States of America. For the past two years, more than 3,000 individuals across 750 different organizations have attended workshops and seminars on Siri. And we hope many more will participate and promulgate the use of this index to bring about a system change, a worldwide change in how we implement Industry 4.0. Today, the conversation in the global manufacturing community has evolved from just learning about what the key concepts and benefits of Industry 4.0, what they are, to begin to explore how best they can implement the transformation roadmaps. Companies are actively finding ways to translate their newfound knowledge into real, tangible, actionable projects that can help them realize the benefits of Industry 4.0. However, the planning and the execution of an Industry 4.0 transformation plan is not a simple task. As you see from the video, it requires many different domains to really be working together in lockstep in order for transformation to be synergized and to realize actual benefits. 
So it requires companies to really invest significant amounts of time and resources to first identify the key, the key focus areas, importantly to select the right technologies, to engage the right vendors, work with the right partners, and oversee the entire implementation of the transformation from beginning to the end. It is therefore not surprising that very few companies have taken the plunge unless they themselves have a high level of confidence and, of course, clarity about what is needed to implement the projects that can help to achieve their desired business outcomes. Now, with this new set of challenges, we realized that we needed to respond to this and to do more to help companies better design and execute their transformation roadmaps. That is why we have developed this prioritization matrix, which is a management tool, a management planning tool to assist companies in quantitatively identifying the high priority industry 4.0 areas where improvements that is being made will bring about the best benefits, the most immediate benefits that companies can enjoy. The tool is therefore designed to be data-driven and globally relevant applicable to all companies, regardless of your size and your specific industries. When manufacturers have a more systematic, comprehensive and robust way to prioritize industry 4.0 areas, they can then take more measured steps forward in their industry 4.0 transformation. We have piloted this prioritization matrix with both multinational companies as well as small and medium enterprises to enhance its relevance as well as its usability. One such company that has benefited from the prioritization matrix is Shine Precision, one of the exhibitors here today as well. This is a small and medium-sized, this is a medium-sized enterprise in Singapore that provides specialized computer numerical control or CNC machining of complex components. Now, specifically, Shine Precision had used the prioritization matrix to identify its top three impact, high impact focus areas, namely in enterprise automation, in short floor connectivity, and in enterprise intelligence. The company shared that using this Siri assessment matrix, as well as the prioritization matrix, has helped it to identify and drive recommendations in a significantly shorter time, which would otherwise have taken many more weeks. So this saved the company precious resources and helped to expedite the development and implementation of their transformation roadmaps. For companies that have already started on their smart factory transformation journey, the recommendations from the prioritization matrix can help as cross-references to either validate existing plans or prompt a review of specific areas. For example, you saw in a video earlier, Infineon, a German semiconductor manufacturer had used the prioritization matrix to review whether their ongoing efforts were in the right direction. And this has helped to strengthen the integrity of their long-term transformation plans. To ensure the technical robustness of the prioritization matrix, we consulted industry 4.0 thought leaders in developing the tool. And so here, I must extend our heartiest and most sincere appreciation to our knowledge partners, McKinsey and Company, Siemens, Tusut and SAP for providing your expertise and counsel to enhance the integrity of this prioritization matrix. Before I end my address, I'd like to echo a key point that many people have made in the past, and that is integration is the key to harnessing the power of Industry 4.0. The next big frontier for the manufacturing sector is to achieve not only the integration of your equipment within your factory, but really to ensure the integration of networks within the entire manufacturing plant and beyond together with your customers, your suppliers, and the broader community, achieving a network effect that will unleash the full power of a digitized value chain. In addition, it is of paramount importance that we continue to reskill and upskill our workforce so that workers can also contribute to the transformation and benefit from all these new opportunities. Ladies and gentlemen, it's only when technology, processes, and organization come together that we are able to unlock the real value of Industry 4.0. Hence, the theme for this year's Hanover Messe, Integrated Industry, Industrial Intelligence, is extremely relevant and appropriate. The development of this prioritization matrix is also an example of the spirit of integration, where the government, technology providers, and manufacturers come together to co-create new concepts and solutions 
to jointly expand the limit of our collective capabilities. It is with this backdrop that I encourage friends and companies in Singapore, in ASEAN, as well as around the world, to look beyond traditional boundaries, to challenge existing work processes and business models, and to learn and collaborate with one another across nations, across different industries, across the public and the private sectors. Let me take this chance to wish all of you a fruitful convention and every success in your future endeavours. And of course, may we all move towards greater integration in our Industry 4.0 journey. Thank you very much. Thank you also, Dr. Ko. And may I ask you to uh, remain on stage, maybe take your spot already. I think we have exactly a spot reserved for you right in the middle. And may I ask uh, our other partners to join us now on stage, ladies and gentlemen, once again, uh, from uh, TÜV Süd, uh, CEO Dr. Axel Stepkin we have here with us today, from our senior partner and global lead for manufacturing supply chain, McKinsey and Company, Christoph Schmitz. We have President Digital Supply Chain and Manufacturing, SAP, Ms. Hala Zain, and of course, CEO Digital Industry Industries of Siemens, Klaus Hemrich, and CEO Siemens AG, Joe Keza, all on stage here together. And this is a very special moment. Do not press the buzzers yet, ladies and gentlemen. I know how tempting it is when you see a buzzer. But um, on three, okay, we'll press the buzzers together. So one, two, three. And maybe we can give it a big round of applause. This was the official launch of the prioritization matrix. If I may ask you also once again to stay where you are, and I may ask Dr. Ko to come to the front once again, because I know you have a special uh, gift, a little treat, a token, a token of appreciation that you would like to hand out to each of our partners. So um, I will ask Mr. Ko to stand here. There we go. And uh, we will start off uh, on this side here, and I may ask Dr. Axel Schepkin from TÜV Süd to step up and accept the token of appreciation by Dr. Ko. One quick picture, there we go. And then, if we could ask you, Mr. Schepkin, to move across to the other side, we'll gather you over there, and we'll have the next, ladies and gentlemen, Christoph Schmitz from TÜV Süd. McKinsey, exactly. We just had me. Also with us today, ladies and gentlemen, from SAP, Ms. Hala Sain. And receiving a token together, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Keza and Klaus Helmisch, of course, as a tag team here. And if we also may ask you to move over to the other side for one last group picture with everybody holding their token so that we can get everybody in the picture for one last photo. There we go. Looking fantastic. And if we can give a big round of applause, it just feels better when you're standing on stage and you get an applause. It just, it makes you smile automatically. There we go. So thank you everybody for joining and participating and uh, we've come to the end of the launch event. If you're interested in more and knowing more about uh, the prioritization matrix, you can visit the Singaporean Pavilion in Hall 16 and approach any of the ambassadors there. We also have hard copies of the prioritization matrix here to hand out to you. If you want one, please raise your hand. We'll get one to you. Alternatively, you can also download a soft copy on the website. All you need to do for that is uh, scan the code. Yes, you may, if, if you wish, you may, you may go back to your seats. Thank you very much. And uh, we're going to blend in the code here right now, uh, the QR code, there we go, or visit the website where you can download a soft copy of the matrix. So thank you, everybody, for being here today, and uh, continued success and uh, continued developments in this direction. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.